Well, I've been in some games like that as a player and as a coach, and on the bad side of it. We're on the good side of it. We won. And uh, I think as we look at ourselves and we look at the film, some things that are very glaring. No consistency uh, on our offense at all, really moving the ball in increments. It seems to be a big play or nothing, punt. Very difficult to run tonight. They did a great job, I thought. I told coach, their coach, guys did a great job of really creating the line of scrimmage and playing on our side of the ball. They did a lot of stunts, things of that nature. Uh, we couldn't find any running lanes at all. Uh, you know, it was getting hit in the backfield a bunch. Dropped a lot of balls, uh, which were not good. Had one touchdown call back because of a foul, because of a silly foul. We fumble the ball where we think we're getting into the goal line for another touchdown. So, you know, those are the type of things that you can't do in a ball game. And we, we ended up doing it, and we had our, got ourselves into a position where uh, we needed our defense to play as good as they played tonight. And uh, that becomes strenuous. The last two weeks, uh, defense has given up 14 points total. You can't keep living like that. Offensively, we got to get some we got to get some points on the board, and we got we to sustain some drives, and that's the disappointing thing. I think our kickers are doing great. The punter again, uh, field position, punts the ball down, uh, makes them play on a long field, and the field goal kicker comes in again and kicks uh, you know, three field goals that we needed. So uh, it was a win, and we'll, we'll look at it that way, but we got a lot of work to do. Questions? Uh, Coach, uh, Chris Gleason, Devil's Digest. Um, the crowd could be heard booing the offense a lot on the night. Just wondering your reaction to that. Yeah, I, I get it. You know, that's why fans come. They, they, that's what they do. They cheer and they boo. And when you're not playing well, they, they boo. That's, that's nothing unusual. I, I played in Philadelphia. That's nothing unusual. I mean, I get it. They're, 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 fans are passionate. You know, they're emotional. I mean, they, they want to see offense. And when you struggle like that, you know, they, they get upset. But at the end, they were all clapping because we won. So I get that part, too. Koki Riley, uh, Inferno Intel. Um, Coach, the running game really had trouble sort of getting going. And yeah. you also alluded to the lack of consistent drives. What's it going to take to open up those running lanes and create long drives? We're going to have sustained blocks. I mean, that's, that's, that's the problem. I, I, what, what folks are doing to us, too, is they're, they're committing six guys in the box and they're hitting the gaps and they're putting a lot of pressure on us. And when they do that, then the counter to that is you either got to run outside or you got to throw the ball down the field and hit them. And a couple times we hit them. And that's what you got to do. You know, if they're going to do that, then you got to hopefully protect the quarterback and then throw the ball and, and make some plays in the passing game. And that, that slows all that down, which we were able to do a couple times tonight, which was good. It was a good thing, but way too many. Way too much penetration by defenses in our backfield, and that's never good. Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Uh, congratulations on the win, Coach. Um, it seems to me your message early in the season was that the offense was going to have to do everything possible to support the rookie quarterback. Yes. But it's not seeming like that's happening. So what's the message? How do you get that resolved before the bigger games? Well, we got to keep practicing. I mean, it's, we're not going to get any new players. We're not getting any new coaches. We're going to just keep practicing and we're going to get better. And that's all you can do. And uh, if we have to do less to help us offensively, then we'll do less. Um, but we have, to, we have to control the line of scrimmage. You can't play offense on your heels. When people are penetrating the line of scrimmage, that's what defenses are taught to do. You, you change the line of scrimmage, hard. Hard to run the football, hard to throw the ball, hard to do everything. It looks bad. And that's what it looked like a lot of tonight. A couple times we, we hung in there and we made some plays in the passing game. Um, some drop balls. I mean, Curly catches that ball, he might still be running. When he doesn't, he drops it. And you can't drop him. You, you, what we can't allow happen to happen is that we got a young quarterback, and when you do things like that, it just makes it even more difficult. And, and look, guys that are dropping balls, I get it. They're freshmen too. I, I get all that. But that's just. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, and I haven't watched the film, and you know, it's, it's hard to say everything, but I'll watch the film tomorrow morning. I'll be in there early, and I'll look at it, and uh, we got to get some things correct.
coach Matt Roy Cronkite News. Um, in the first quarter, I believe when a you had AJ Carter opening the flat, drops the ball, and then in the next play catches the ball, fumbles on the goal line. What do you say to a young player like that uh, after he comes off the field? Well, that um, I'm gonna get you the ball again, basically. And he knows. I mean, he didn't want to fumble the ball. He didn't want to drop the ball. I mean, but he hadn't played a lot. You know, and all of a sudden he's in a game, and it, it's a tight game, and uh, you can't make those errors. And so, hopefully, the next time he's in the game, that won't be the, you know, that, that won't be part of his equation when he plays. But um, no players out there trying to drop a ball or fumble the ball. I get that. I mean, you know, all that screaming and hollering, it all makes good for television, but it doesn't help. It really doesn't. It just uh, you got to coach him, and he's got to be better with the ball in his hand. He knows that. He's played a lot of football in his lifetime. He knows you can't fumble the ball, and you can't drop balls when you're wide open. You, just, you know, there's, 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 those are drive killers. When you have a drive, you have momentum going, and all of a sudden something like that happens. Then whole air comes out of the offense, and you got to punt the ball again, you know, and, and, and then the defense has to go out there, and, you know, this offense scored 77 points last week. They, they threw it around and scored a lot of points. And so, you know, you're always stressed on defense going, hey, we, we can't, you know, we, we give these guys 10 points, all of a sudden this could be a game. And it was a game. I mean, it was close all the way. Coach, how would you grade your uh, quarterback's play tonight? I'm not going to try to grade it without looking at the film. It's not fair. I'm not, I'm pretty good at watching things, but for me to sit here and just try to grade it, I'm not, I'm not going to grade it. I grade it this way, he won. It's 2-0 as a freshman. That's pretty good, I think. Yeah, Coach Edwards, uh, Joe Andriano, Arizona News Radio. You did have some trouble, obviously, in the beginning running the football. Were you surprised by anything the Hornets did defensively? I noticed you said they put six in the box, but maybe their their scheme, their linebackers, their coverage, anything? It was the bear, and we said that this week. They were going to bear front, and they were going to shoot gaps, and that's what they did. They shot some gaps on us and got penetration and did some stunts, did some movement. Um, but th th that's what's puzzling to me because our defense has movement. And for us not to be able to pick that up, that was a little bit puzzling. Um, so, you know, it goes back to the same old deal. I mean, maybe we're trying to do too much. And if, if that's the case, then I, I know how to stop that. That's easy. Just take a pencil and you start chalking things off. Uh, because we, got it, we, we have to get better at, at running the football, regardless of who we play. Because that sets up who we are. That kind of sets up our personality. Um, we're not a drop-back football team. We're not built to do that. You know, so um, we're going to have to get some things corrected. With the players we have, by the way, we're not getting any new players. We have these players. We're going to play with these guys. Michelle Gardner, Arizona Republic. Uh, Coach, it seemed like you guys wanted to build on last week and build some confidence going into what's a very big game and against a good opponent next week. And it almost seems like you've regressed. Mm -hmm. Did you sense that the team maybe their confidence took a shot today? Well, you know, I, I think they're disappointed. Um, uh, I know I talked about playing these guys, and I showed them the score last year when they played San Diego State. It was 14-13 to 13, uh, with 4.30 left in the fourth quarter. So I said, I'm just telling you, that's who you're playing. So you need to figure it out. And obviously, they didn't listen. So there you, there you have it. I mean, I, you know, it, I learned that a long time ago. I, I've, I've worn all those hats as a coach, an assistant coach, player. And at the end, you can give them all the information you want, and you can coach them up. And then when they go on the field, they got to play. And then you try to adjust the things on the field for them. And, and I told them that. I said, they got to look within the group now. You got to look within the guys in the in the locker room, how are we gonna get this thing fixed? Because we're all together here, we're not going anywhere, and we gotta get it fixed. Earl Burnett with Casual Sports Radio. She basically, my question's on those same lines a okay. little bit, but during, throughout the week leading up to this game, was there a message to the team about overlooking this team, and was that a factor in the first half? Uh, yeah, there's always that message of, of you know, understand who your opponent is and, and understand you know, how excited they'll be about playing you. I mean, when you play teams like this, this is, uh, you know, I told Coach, um, this is what you're trying to build your program on. This is a big win for you. You, you go in on the road and, and beat a team on the road, a Pac-12 team, that's, that's a big win. I mean, these guys got to 
they didn't win, but they, they got something to build on. I mean, they do. Because they can say, hey, we went in there and we, you know, we went right down to the wire. And good for them. They deserved it. They played that way. And what we got to understand is that's how people look at you. This game is, is, is full, full of emotions. Emotions swing, they vary. And when things go bad, how do you handle those things? You know, and I saw a lot of guys looking around. I said, don't look anywhere. Ain't nowhere to look. You look at yourself. You know, we all gotta look at each other. I mean, there's nowhere to go. You, you can't hide it. It's just what it is. And, and we went in the locker room and you would think that we got beat by 50. And that's a good sign because these guys know that, you know what, we played an opponent that, that played for four quarters and you got to give that coaching staff and them players a lot of credit because they played their hearts out. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you folks.